Hey yogis, thanks for joining me today. We're gonna to be doing a class that doesn't really require any props. Unless you feel as though you need a block, I would go ahead and grab one to have it handy. Otherwise, let's begin. We're gonna begin on our backs today. Supta Baddha Konasana, laying down. Soles of our feet come together as our knees open wide. One hand to our belly and one hand to our heart. And check in to see how our hips feel. If they feel rather tight, we can begin to take our feet more towards the top of our mat. Otherwise, we can keep them as they are or maybe draw them in towards our bottom if they're feeling rather open. Again, with one hand on our belly, one hand on our heart, and allowing ourselves to settle into this space. Right, so we always begin with a pause. And that's part of the intention that I would like to set for class today. And something that inspired me for this class was a praying mantis. And part of their meaning is to be still. And so I invite us to take in this intention, be still. May we find the time to slow down. May we find the time to look in. May we find the time to allow. May we slow down and follow divine timing. Look in for the di divine truth and find time to allow our oneness with the divine energy that flows through us. Be still, hear our words. Be still, feel our love. Be still, feel our truth. So as we begin in stillness, the only thing that is moving is our belly as we draw our inhale in, and our belly and our chest as we exhale to let go. And each inhale that we draw in, I invite us to bring in more stillness into our mind. And this is the part of the reason behind our breath in our practice is to allow our moving meditation, allowing our breath to be our guide, but allowing our breath to be our focus. The more we can focus on the length of our inhale and the length of our exhale, the more we can begin to calm and still our mind. A few more rounds of breath. Drawing in to fill up. Let's take an audible exhale to release and let go. Two more. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, audible, let go. One more. Inhale, deepest breath yet. Big breath out, let it go. Sealing our lips, take two more rounds, in and out through the nose. Last one. Now with our inhale, extend our hands around the outer edges of our thighs and then draw our knees in towards our chest. Find a little bit of a rock side to side and then gently bring yourself forward and up into a seated position and then bring your hands down in front of you to your mat. Find yourself in tabletop pose for just a moment. Find stillness. Pressing down into the earth through all of your fingers. Feeling your shoulders roll back and down. Belly drawing in nice and firm. Tailbone reaching ever so slightly towards the ceiling. And then drawing length through the crown of your head. Close your eyes. Feel this connection with your mat in stillness. Again, the only thing that is moving is your breath, your lungs, your belly as you inhale. Exhale. 
Feel everything begin to awaken, but at the same time, begin to slow down. One more, inhale. Exhale. Now with this inhale, open your eyes. And as you exhale, tuck your toes, press back, downward facing dog. Pause in your down dog. Feel the connection with your feet, with your hands, if your heels don't touch. I've said this many times before, it doesn't matter, it's completely okay. Have the connection with your thumb and your forefinger, and then feel as though you could draw your arms together if you had a block in between them, holding it tight, and then bring your shoulders down your spine. Draw your belly in, lift your hips up, and feel the connection down into the ground, into the earth, through your feet. And if your heels don't touch, still feel this length as they yearn towards the ground. And if they do touch, see if you can kind of bring the weight into your heels, or maybe not the weight, but the attention. Draw the attention into all parts of your feet. Feel the connection. Connecting with breath. And then as we inhale, bring our gaze forward. And as we exhale, step forward into our ragdoll. So your knees are going to be nice and bent as you allow your crown of your head to draw down towards the ground. And pause here with your hands down on the ground. Okay? Chest is nice and supported by your thighs. And feel the backside of your heart begin to open as we get this nice little kind of relief almost. Now begin to bring your hands to your elbows if you want. Otherwise, keep them down on the ground. And then find today a little bit of a bounce. So lifting our chest up, allowing it to then come back down. Nice and gentle, obviously nothing that's uncomfortable. And then stay with the bend in your knees. If you're not practicing all of the time, then your hamstrings, unless they're naturally open, may be kind of tight right now, and that's completely okay. Maybe straightening one leg, and then the other is we kind of sway side to side. Maybe straightening one leg, and then the other, or maybe staying still. Sticking with the intention of class, although we don't want to be still the entire time, because that just wouldn't really be <laughs> what we want. And allow everything to begin to open your low back. Okay, shake your head out, yes. Shake it out, no. Always coming back with a yes, though. Ending on a positive. And then bring yourself back into your stillness. Release your hands down to the mat. Toe heel your feet together. Keep the bend in your knees. Head still hangs very heavy. And as we inhale, we're slowly going to rise. And then once we come up, bring our shoulders with an inhale up towards our ears. Exhale, release them down our spine. And then think about connecting down into our mat. Tailbone points down as the crown of our head reaches up. We should feel the strength through our abdominals. And then think about our bandhas here. So lifting our pelvic floor and drawing our belly in. You bring your hands to heart center, gaze down to your fingertips and close your eyes. Take a moment in our stillness to set maybe our own personal intention besides the group. Maybe there's an area in our life that requires some attention. Maybe a person, maybe it's just ourselves. And take a nice deep breath in. Big audible exhale. Again, inhale, seal in what we would like to practice with. Big exhale, let it go. Slowly begin to open our eyes. Release our hands down by our sides. Now as we inhale, arms reach up towards the ceiling and bring our palms to touch. Exhale, hands to our heart center and then we Hinge at our hips as we lower and release down into our forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Crown of our head is reaching forward. Exhale, step back, Chaturanga. 
Inhale, upward facing dog, heart draws forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Arms reach up, palms touch. Exhale, forward fold, hands through heart center as we release down. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Exhale, step back. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Always being mindful of our breath. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, make your way forward. Maybe you tippy toe, maybe you walk, maybe you hop. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, arms reach, palms touch. Exhale, forward fold. And always being mindful of keeping our belly in. Forward fold, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pause here. For two rounds of breath, okay, you can either stay still or invite in a little bit of movement. Sometimes if I haven't practiced in a little while, movement feels good in between the pauses. And then gently come back to stillness. With our inhale, we're going to look forward. Okay, now as we exhale, Bring your gaze back towards your belly button. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, gaze back towards your belly. Again, inhale, look forward. Exhale, gaze back. Inhale, bring yourself back into your downward facing dog. Get connected with your exhale. And then as we inhale, we're going to lift our right leg up towards the sky. As we exhale, low lunge. Spin our back heel down. And as we inhale, we rise into our warrior two. Arms are going to extend for just a moment. And for this one, I want it to be to bring our shoulders over our hips. Now, if we have really tight hips, our shoulders aren't going to line up and that's okay. Right. Nice deep bend into our front knee. Gazes over our front fingertips. Inhale. Now as we exhale, bring our hands to our heart center. Thigh parallel with the floor if we can. Lifting our heart up towards our thumbs, but staying very active with our elbows. So palms pressed together, belly draws in, elbows open wide. Now as we inhale, we're going to hinge forward into a side angle, but our hands are still at our heart center. Gaze can be up over your left shoulder, drawing your belly in, finding the connection down to the ground. Inhale, exhale. It's a little more challenging this way, I know. Inhale and reverse your warrior, hands at your heart center. Gaze is up towards the ceiling, bend down into your front knee, strong through your back foot, and then pause here with your inhale. And as we exhale, we release down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg reaches towards the sky. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, spin your back heel down and rise into your warrior two. Gaze is over your front fingertip. Once again, can you bring your right hand back just a little bit to see if you can feel the alignment of your shoulders over your hips. Stay low in your front knee. Find your gaze over your front fingers. Inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, lift through the crown of your head. 
And as we exhale, come into our side angle. Okay, so you have the option to actually bring your elbow down towards your thigh, but to make it a little bit more challenging, keep it lifted, gazes over your right shoulder, hands are at heart center. Stay low in your front knee, find your breath, find your strength, inhale, exhale. Inhale and reverse. Staying low in our front knee, it's very natural to come out of our bend, but we wanna stay thigh parallel with the floor. Find your breath, inhale. Exhale and release down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Moving through, one breath per movement. Inhale, right leg reaches up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, open, warrior two. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, hinge forward. And as you exhale, come into your side angle. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Inhale and reverse, hands at heart center. Exhale, release down, chaturanga. So you're gonna notice here, maybe you feel a little bit like a praying mantis with our hands at our heart center, but what can you hold in your own personal prayer? Regardless of, kind of what we believe in, we can all hold something dear to our heart. Inhale, left leg reaches up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, rise. Warrior two. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, hinge. And exhale, come into your side angle, hands at your heart center. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, release down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more time through. Inhale, right leg reaches up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, hinge. And exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse. Feel the side body stretch. Exhale, release down, chaturanga. Remember, you always have the option to skip this. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more side through. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, hinge forward. Exhale, side angle, get a little deeper. Inhale and reverse. Exhale and release. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pause here for three rounds of breath or more if you need it. Down dog is a resting pose. Connect in with your breath. Connect in with the stillness within your mind and your body. But the one thing that is never still is our breath. Inhale, look forward. And as we exhale, step forward, have a seat. So in keeping with our intention today of stillness, why not come into our plank and hold it, right? That might not have been what you wanted to hear, but <laughs> that's where we're gonna go today, right? And in our stillness, can we use our breath to get us through what may be a challenging pose? So coming into our high plank, we want our wrists directly under our shoulders. Fingertips are nice and wide. 
belly is drawing in. And I'm probably going to shake a lot through this. I've had to be off of my mat personally a little bit for the last couple of weeks. So I'm building up my stamina again. Okay, so I feel you if you struggle. I'm here with you. Okay, we're just going to hold for a little while. Belly in. Press the mat away. Feel the backside of our heart begin to open. Tuning into our breath. Keeping your belly in though, so maybe breathing more into the kind of the upper part of our lungs, which is probably what we're used to breathing into anyways. Keep pressing them out away. For 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down child's pose. Allow your forehead to rest. Allow your knees to open a little wide to let your belly rest in between. Take your forehead, roll it from side to side. And always being mindful of the way that we need to practice. Maybe it's different than how we practiced yesterday. And that's okay. Maybe we need to back off a little bit. But if we're feeling the need to step it up, you can always hold and go back into your high plank if you want. Otherwise, take this time to just... Find yourself connected. One more deep inhale. Let's audible exhale, sigh it out. <sighs> Seal our lips. And as we inhale, lift ourselves up into our tabletop pose. And then as we exhale, come into our forearm plank. Okay, so we want to have our elbows underneath our shoulders and then take our feet, step them back. Okay, if you want to, you can always take your hands, press them together. Otherwise, you can take your hands down to your mat. Draw your belly in, press the mat nice and firm with your forearms. And then bring your gaze down to the mat or kind of up towards your thumbs. Once again, find your strength in your belly. Find the stillness in your mind, but find the flow of your breath. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. You can stay here or press yourself back into your child's pose. Letting your breath go for just a moment. Once again, forehead rolling from side to side, allowing our third eye to gently be massaged into the mat. Our little reset button. And as you inhale, press yourself up to tabletop. You're going to kind of bring your knees forward, cross with your ankles, sit back, coming into our Navasana boat pose. So we can layer this here, and we'll start in layer one. Okay. Bring your hands behind your thighs. 
Roll your shoulders up and back, lift your chest, lift your gaze. You can stay here if this is where you would like to be. Otherwise, you're gonna bring your shins parallel with the floor. And then from there, hands to heart center. So even if our feet are down, let's go ahead and bring our hands to heart center. And if you find that you need to take a break, lift, excuse me, lower your feet down. Otherwise, we're gonna lift our shins parallel. Inhale, lift our heart up towards our palms. And as we exhale, twist our right elbow over towards the floor. Inhale, center. Exhale, switch, left elbow towards the floor. Inhale, center. Exhale, switch. Inhale, center. Exhale, switch. You want to add on, inhale, center, exhale, open. Inhale, center, exhale, open. Inhale, center, exhale, open. Two more, inhale, center, exhale, open. One more, inhale, exhale to the right. Inhale, center, and as you exhale, cross at your ankles, make your way forward, and find your way into your downward facing dog. Connecting with our breath. Two more rounds. Go ahead and shake your head out. If you're holding on to any tension, let it go. And the more we can find a way to invite in stillness to our practice, the more we can find a way to invite stillness into our life, regardless of what's going on around us. One more breath in. One more breath out through the nose. Inhale, look forward. As we exhale, make your way to the top. You can step, you can tippy toe. It's really fun. <laughs> Find your way in a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sit into our chair pose. Arms reach up, Utkatasana. Take a look down at our toes. Maybe bring our shins back parallel with the floor. Draw your belly in. Squeeze your inner thighs together. This is a great pose um, to really kind of tone our thighs, especially our inner thighs. Chest is lifting, but our belly is drawing in. So we want to really think about our bandhas here. Lift your pelvic floor. Find your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Sit a little deeper. Again, inhale. Now as we exhale, bring our hands to heart center. Inhale. Hinge forward. Now as we exhale, come into our prayer twist towards the right. So our left elbow comes to the outside of our right thigh and then sit our um, bottom down a little bit more. Yes, your legs are on fire. I feel you. Okay. If not, then I envy you. With your inhale, lift the crown of your head towards the front of your mat. As you exhale, sit a little bit deeper. Again, inhale, press your palms together. See if you can bring your left rib underneath your right. And by rib, I mean ribs. <laughs> sit a little bit deeper, find your breath. With your inhale, gaze down towards the floor. As you exhale, squeeze your knees together. Lift your left leg up. Find your breath in. And as you exhale, step it back into your revolved crescent lunge. If you need to, you can modify here, dropping to your back knee. This is more about the twist. So if you find yourself collapsing, take a knee, okay? And then lift with your chest, press your palms together and find your twist. So it's okay if you're not finding the twist with your leg lifted. Okay. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Lift your belly off your thigh. Inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, twist. Two more rounds of breath. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And as you exhale, hands release down to the ground. Step your right foot back, plank pose, pause. Inhale, hinge forward. And as we exhale, lower halfway chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. 
exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, make your way to the top once again. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sit low, chair pose, arms reach. Exhale, sit just a little bit deeper, take a look at your toes, maybe bring your shins back, and then begin to settle in. Find your breath. Big breath in. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, hinge forward, and exhale, prayer twist to the left. So now our right elbow comes to the outside of our left thigh. Take a look at our knees and make sure that they're in line with one another. Sit just a little bit deeper. Inhale, lengthen through the crown of your head. Exhale, sit and twist. Sometimes it takes my body quite a while to begin to open up. Sometimes even towards the end of my practice. Okay, so find a way to use our breath to Kind of work through this. Inhale, lengthen through the crown of your head. Exhale, twist. With your inhale, gaze down towards your toes. Squeeze your knees together. Lift your right leg. One more breath in. Exhale, step back into your revolved crescent lunge. If you took a knee on the other side, do so here. Remember the twist rather than the balance. Lengthen out wherever we are. Crown of the head reaches forward. Belly lifts off of our thigh. Exhale to twist and rinse. Now think about your right ribs coming under your left. Find your breath in. Find your breath out. One more inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, hands release down to the ground. Step back, plank pose, pause. Inhale, hinge. Exhale, lower halfway down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Pausing here. Letting go. Letting our breath guide and take kind of a release into the different areas of our body that are requesting it. Maybe it's our quads. Maybe it's our core. More often than not, it's usually my thoughts that need to be cleared out with my breath. So I like to think of my inhale as a big sweep in. And then as I exhale, it's a big sweep out. Maybe we can even think of it as though it's a wave coming in and crashing into the shore and collecting all the seashells that we can think of little thoughts and drawing them back out into the ocean to rinse and clear away anything that no longer serves our mind. Maybe it's a thought that we aren't strong enough. Maybe it's a thought that we aren't well enough. Whatever these may be, remind ourselves that most of the time it is our ego that is telling us a story. But in this stillness, once we learn to quiet and clear things away, our soul begins to speak. And it is from this place that truth begins to grow. Health begins to really show through. And our strength really begins to find its place. With an inhale, lift your right leg up towards the sky. As we exhale, draw our knee in towards our nose or maybe our chest. Inhale, straighten the right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, straighten our leg up towards the sky. 
exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, straighten the right leg up. Exhale, twist it over, but keeping your left thigh parallel with the floor. Now as you are here, pause and extend your right leg out. Spin your back heel down, and as you inhale, come into your fallen star. Okay, so your right shoulder is over your right wrist. Find your breath, inhale. You can stay here or as you exhale, chaturanga. Inhale back into your fallen star. Exhale, left hand down. Step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg reaches towards the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, cross it over, keeping your right thigh parallel with the floor. Now as you inhale, fall in star. Reach your right arm up. So now your left shoulder is gonna be over your left wrist. And then your right foot is gonna be down, kind of like you would be for a warrior pose. Inhale, stay here. If you did on the other side, as you exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, fall in star. Exhale, step back, downward facing dog. Pausing here, a few rounds of breath. Again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lifts our right leg up towards the sky. And as we exhale, one of my favorites, come into your half pigeon. So your right knee is gonna be outside of your right wrist. Take a look back, very important here, that our left foot be straight out from our glute. Okay, so our leg is straight back, toes point back. If you have any knee issues, come onto your pack, your back rather than your pack, and you're gonna thread the needle. Or if this feels okay, you can stay here and stay lifted. Okay, but if you have any knee issues, come onto your back. Otherwise, inhale, lift your chest. And then as we exhale, draw our heart forward and down. And then our palms are going to extend forward. Because the thinking of here is as though we were in a child's pose with our chest and our head and our palms. So I want our forehead down on something, whether it be our mat or whether it be our hands, or if we have our block, maybe it's that. Bring the right hip back and the left hip forward. Breathe space into our inner and outer thigh. More so our outer. But sometimes it can feel a little tight on our inner, just depending on how our hips are feeling. Allowing our heart to melt down. And we're gonna be here in stillness and in silence for about 30 seconds. Two more rounds of breath. One more. Ah, 
as we inhale, bring our palms back towards our shin and lift our heart up. And as we exhale, tuck our back toes, lift our right leg up and over. And keeping our chest square to the back of our mat. And just take some circles with that right leg. Make sure you go in both directions. And then with your inhale, come back to your three-legged dog. And as you exhale, lower your right foot down, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up towards the sky. Exhale, half pigeon on the left or you're threading the needle now on the left side. So make sure that your right foot now is straight back. Press your palms down into the ground. Lift your chest, inhale. And then as we exhale, bring ourselves down towards the ground. Heart is melting, forehead drops down. And then settling into this pose. Drawing the left hip back and the right hip forward. Notice where we hold any tension and can we begin to let that go? And again, we'll be in silence for about 30 seconds on this side. Two more rounds of breath. One more. As we inhale, Bring our palms back towards the mat. Lift our chest up. Tuck our back toes. And as we exhale, press back into our three-legged dog. Lift our left leg up and over. Find our circles. Find a release. Maybe even find the feeling back in that left leg. Circles in both directions. And then as we inhale, lift our right, excuse me, our left leg back up towards the sky. And as we exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. And as we exhale, step forward and have a seat. We're going to come into a seated twist now. So we're gonna begin with our right leg as the foundation. So we're gonna take our left leg, bend into our left knee, and then take our right leg. Right foot is gonna plant down towards the ground. Into the ground, rather. Okay. And then we're gonna take, this is a seated twist, Arda Matse Andrasana. If my words could come out tonight, that would be good. <laughs> Okay, so your right palm is gonna press down into the ground behind you. And I want us to almost make a wall with our right arm, okay? And it's okay if it doesn't quite touch, but if it does, that's great. With an inhale, lift your left arm up towards the sky. And then as we exhale, left elbow to the outside of our right knee. Stay here with your chest a little more towards the front. Take an inhale, lift your heart up towards the sky. And then as you exhale, begin to bring your gaze back over your right shoulder. So I want this twist to be with our upper back. 
okay? rather than down into our lower. Finding our breath. Every exhale, beginning to bring our gaze a little bit more back over the right shoulder. Okay? But if we feel this in our low back, we can go ahead and release out of the twist a little bit until we no longer feel it there and then we want to pause. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhale. Now as you inhale, bring yourself back to center. We're going to take a counter twist here. So hands are going to come to the left. With your inhale, lift the crown of your head up, and then as you exhale, kind of lean and bend forward a little bit. Inhale, bring yourself back up. Now we're going to come into our peak pose, which is our praying mantis. So the story behind this is one day I was bringing my daughter home from school and I went to go get her out of the car, my son out of the car, and I looked over on the wall and there staring straight at me was a praying mantis. We live in Southern California and I don't know, maybe I never really noticed them before, but I thought it was so odd. It just was right there. And me, I had to figure out what the meaning behind a praying mantis was. And lo and behold, it was about stillness and quieting down and really kind of bringing everything back into a peaceful state of mind. Um, and they usually appear when things are kind of crazy and going all around. And usually things are pretty crazy and going all around. And it was a very nice reminder to bring things back into stillness and kind of quiet down and settle back down. So the second thing I had to do besides find the meaning of it was to find the pose, right? And of course there's a yoga pose for a praying mantis. <laughs> We're going to get into it now. So for this, you want your left thigh, excuse me, your left shin to be parallel with your mat. So either the front of your mat or the side of your mat. Now we're gonna take our, and we're gonna lift up off of our right um, glute here, okay? And then you're gonna take your left arm and thread it through, okay? And then take your hand into your palm face up as though you could hold a tray. Inhale, lift your right arm up. And then as we exhale, bring our palms to touch. Lift, root down towards in, into the left glute and then lift with the crown of our head up, find your breath in. And then as we exhale, twist. So it's a passive twist, yet a nice twist. And I really like this pose because it's accessible for almost everybody, right? Inhale, lift the crown of your head, exhale, twist. One more, inhale, exhale. Now as you inhale, bring yourself back. And go ahead and take your feet into Baddha Konasana. So the soles of your feet are going to come together as your knees open wide. And then the spacing of your heels towards your pelvis really depends on how open your hips are. But we want to eventually have um, our feet be about um, a fist distance away from our pelvis. Take your hands, wrap them around your toes. Inhale, lift your heart, and then as you exhale, begin to draw your heart forward. And then eventually bringing your elbows to your inner thighs. But if you aren't there today, that is completely okay. Thinking about keeping our spine nice and long and our belly drawing in. Still connected with our breath. Okay, so even though we aren't flowing as much, that doesn't mean that we aren't breathing as much. Again, inhale, exhale. Inhale, lift yourself up. And then as we exhale, we're going to switch. So coming into our Ardha Matsya Andrasana. Maybe I'm just not meant to say that today. <laughs> That's okay. So take your left foot. Now plant your left foot down into the ground. Okay, and then make sure that your, your bottom is nice and connected. Now we want to bring our left hand behind our spine. 
finding our kind of our stable wall here. Inhale, lift your right arm up towards the sky, and then as you exhale, come into your twist. And so depending on how our body feels, this may be all the twist that we take that is completely okay. With your breath in, lift through the crown of your head, and then as you exhale, begin to look over that left shoulder. But letting our breath take us deeper and listening to our body. Think about drawing your, your belly, back, your belly button rather back towards the midline of your body. Inhale, exhale. So again, this is a twist with our upper back. Letting our gaze gently come back towards that left shoulder. One more inhale. Exhale. Inhale back to center. And then as we exhale, find our counter twist. Hands over to the right. Lengthen through the crown of your head. And exhale as your heart yearns down towards the floor. But we're still very lifted. Inhale, lift up. And then as we exhale, we're going to come into our praying mantis on this side. So your um, right shin is now parallel with the floor, and then you're going to lift up off of your left glute. And then now we're going to take our right hand and thread it through. So your elbow is kind of nice and snug into um, the crease behind your knee. Inhale, lift your left arm up towards the sky, right palm is facing up, and as you exhale, let them come together into your prayer hands. Lift your elbow up, kind of in line with your, almost with your wrist, lifting the crown of your head, and then as we exhale, finding our twist. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist. One more. Inhale, bring yourself back to center, undo. Bring yourself with your feet back, Supta Baddha Konasana. Soles of your feet come together. Inhale to lift your chest. And as you exhale, fold in. We're just gonna stay here for two rounds of breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale to rise. And then as we exhale, we're gonna lower down onto our backs and we're actually going to stay. Draw your knees into your chest and rock a little side to side, massaging your low back. Okay, and then we're going to come into our happy baby. So we're going to pause, allow our knees to open out towards our armpits, and then lift our feet up towards the sky as we grab onto the inner the outer edges of our feet. And then lengthen our tailbone down. So we want to actually try to press our tailbone down into the ground, and then our shoulders are going to come back and down. So we still have this nice arch in our low back. Okay, it's our lumbar spine. You can pause here, you can find movement, you can straighten one leg and then the other, whatever feels best for your body. Maybe it's just being still and allowing the pose to work its way through your body. Focusing on the areas that may still be requesting some extra breath. Allowing things to open. And then gently draw your knees in towards your chest. Give them a squeeze. Rock side to side. Come back to center. We're going to end this evening or afternoon or morning, whatever time of day it is for our practice with a rather easy supine twist. So we're going to take our 
arms into a goal post. So our elbows are out almost directly from our shoulders and our palms are facing up. Okay, with your inhale, actually go ahead and walk your feet out as wide as your mat for a moment and allow your knees to drop together. Maybe even take a moment and rock your head from side to side. And as our knees come together here, allowing our low back, rocking side to side, gazing, maybe even with our eyes closed. Okay. And then now allowing our knees to come back open. Our feet are still wide. Inhale, lift your hips up. And as you exhale, drop them over to the right and let your knees fall over to the left. Gaze is going to fall over to our right side, right shoulder is strong and connected. If you want to take this deeper, simply take your right knee over your left. Okay. Or maybe you stay with this kind of easy twist, maybe even taking your left ankle on top of your right leg. Just allowing this nice last active pose to prepare our body for our Shavasana. Finding your breath, feeling connected in with the ground, with the earth, with our mat. As we inhale, bring ourselves back to center and draw our knees into our chest. Rocking side to side. And then gently coming back to center, coming back into our goal post. And then feet back out as wide as our mat. Drop our knees in towards one another for just mm, two rounds of breath. Again, feeling supported, hopefully feeling nice and relaxed. And now as you inhale, draw your knees back out. Pause with your exhale. Inhale, lift your hips up. And as you exhale, drop them over to the left as your knees fall to the right. Gaze comes over towards your left arm. And then if you take it deeper on the other side, do so here. Feeling this nice stretch through your left side. Or maybe you feel it somewhere different. And close our eyes to begin to let go of our practice of anything that we may still be holding on to. And then gently draw your knees back to center. Hug them in towards your spine and rock a little side to side. Draw your forehead in towards your knees. Squeeze in as tight as you can. Inhale. And as you exhale, your final Shavasana awaits. Palms face up. Legs fall open, eyes close. May we find the time to slow down May we find the time to look in. May we find the time to allow. May we slow down and follow divine timing, look in for divine truth, and find time to allow for our oneness with the divine energy that flows through us. Be still, hear our words. Be still, feel our love. Be still, feel our truth. Be still. I invite you to stay here in stillness for another three to five minutes if you can. Otherwise, if you need to continue on with your day, 
Draw your knees into your chest. Bring yourself to your favorite side. And then from here, press yourself up to a seated position. Bring your hands to your heart center. And bring your gaze down to your fingertips or close your eyes. And it is from my heart to yours that I thank you for allowing me to be your guide today. Bring your hands to your lips. May our words always be kind and true to others, but most importantly, always kind and true to ourselves. Hands to the center of our eyebrows, the center of our intuition and divine light. The highest in me honors and recognizes the highest in you and together in this place and in this space we are one. I humbly bow forward in honor of your practice. Namaste.